Good afternoon, welcome to We Repair. Uh, so today I'm back again working on my Acer Chromebook. Uh, so this is a C710 is the actual model. Um, I've already done a bit of work on it, I've had the screen replaced, um, fixed a number of other issues with it. Uh, so today I'm doing an SSD upgrade. Uh, really easy to do, won't take you any more than 10-15 minutes at the very most. Uh, so, let's just run straight through this. So as ever, first thing we need to do, get the battery out. So we'll just pop that out. Battery disconnected, pop that onto one side. These ones are really easy to get into. Uh, all we need to do is remove this plate. So it's just a single screw. So I'll do that. And then the whole thing slides forward. And then it will just lift off. And that'll allow really easy access to the majority of the components. Um, so we've got our memory in here. There's our spare DIMM in here, should you want to upgrade it. These come two gig as standard. Um, and, and hard drives over here, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you can get to your fan if you want to do your cleaning, um, Wi-Fi chips here, obviously your speakers at the front, but the majority of it is just these two components that you'll be accessing most of the time, if at all. Um, so to get our hard drive out, first thing we need to do is disconnect the ribbon. So there's a little, a couple of little black clips here, and it pulls just straight forward, just like that. You might need something pointy. I can do it with my fingernails. It's that skinny. And then the cable will just come out, just like that. And then you can actually just use that to lift it straight up. So really, really easy to get out. So there's our hard drive. Uh, and these are a standard 320 gig Seagate Momentus hard drives. Um, so we'll just move our laptop off to one side. So hard drive wise, all we're gonna do is take the two screws out, one either side, and then we can slide the whole assembly away. Uh, it will take all of three seconds to do it. The screw number one, and screw number two. And then paying attention to which way the caddy comes off, you'll just slide it away from you. And then there's our hard drive disconnected. I am going to put in here 120 gig PNY uh, SSD, which is absolutely fine. Um, and again, it will just this thing will just slot back straight onto the front. So you're just paying attention to which way up the little L-shaped connectors are here. And it will just slide back on just like that. And then we'll just pop our screws back in. Now, this is a Chromebook um, running Chrome OS. You could use something like Image Clone or a Cronus True Image or something along those lines to basically copy everything off of the old hard drive onto the new. Um, there's also lots of articles on how to um, reinstall Chrome OS. It does come native with the native with the machine, so it's not the easiest thing to acquire. Um, I found a couple of nice articles on how to reinstall it, so I'll try and link that below. Uh, reinstallation wise, we're just going to slot this in here like this, slide the ribbon cable in as far as we can, push the little sliding connectors in all the way to secure the cable, and then let the hard drive drop flat, if it will. There we are. And there's some little rubber grommets along the side, so it shouldn't move at all. If I tip this upside down, the hard drive should stay exactly where it is. So that's been reinstalled. And then this cover plate, again, just hold it firmly and slide it that way, and it will lock back in place. And then single screw again, just to secure it. So we just quickly do that. And then battery just lick, locks back in place exactly like that. Now I've already done this, the, the hard work for this. So I've got a memory stick pre-built with my Chrome OS on it. Um, what will happen when you put a new hard drive in, it will come up and say, it's missing. Uh, it will also take you through a recovery process as well. So um, I have my recovery memory stick ready to go. 
uh, you will need to pre-build it. As I say, I'll link the details in the um, in, in the thing below. Anyway, um, that is pretty much it. I'm not going to take you through the Chrome OS reinstall because there's no need. Um, there's, there's lots of articles online, as I say, I'll link it just so you've got the information. Uh, should you need any other information or have any questions, please drop me a message um, or reach out via one of our social media channels. We are on Patreon, we are on Facebook, um, and I do try and respond to everyone I can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.